was the final day of racing at the 2015 Laser Performance Collegiate Cup here on the Long Island Sound, and the sailors all agree it was worth the trip. Yeah, this is the first time that we uh, actually compete against uh, different people uh, coming from all around the world, and uh, we got the chance, the luck that uh, the weather was really good, it had great conditions. Our team in Ireland is working to expand a bit and do more international events and this is actually one of our first in the US um, and we're hoping to go again next year when it's in Italy. Thanks to Yale, they have, you know, amazing boats far better than any college in Ireland so it's just kind of, <laughs> it allows you, us to do like so much more. I think they did a great, a great job of uh, emphasizing the social aspect of sailing. They did a lot of events in the evenings after their regattas. It was really nice to be able to meet the folks as well as to be able to sail with them. That's something that you miss out a lot uh, in regattas, especially during the school year. We're not as talented yet as uh, the U.S. and some of the teams here, but uh, we thought it would be a great learning opportunity and so we decided to head over and learn what we can from the best, I guess, right? We come from far away and this is uh, my first time to do in the team race, so it's Basically, uh, we start from, from zero and we get better and better by race by race and we improve. Having Anna in the race is very important, basically, otherwise everybody will do something different. But she's just trying as much as possible to keep the race nice and neat. Our sailing venue here, um, out here on the bay, is uh, offers fantastic sailing conditions. We've had um, good breeze anywhere from 5 up to uh, 14 knots the last couple of days. Flat water up to flat water and shifty up to choppy and wavy. Um, so it's giving the sails a broad range of conditions and uh, it makes for exciting sailing. And it came down to the wire. As Team USA, the national sailing champions from Yale University narrowed the gap but it was not to be, as the all-star women's team from the ICSA, representing the U.S., put it out of reach on the final race. Japan held on to third by placing 1-2 in the last race of the day. As a team in general, we feel like we have really good boat speed. Well, we've had a lot of experience in this and we can sail fast. So that's what I was going for, is going for clean air, where we can just put our head in the boat and just go fast and not, not mess with other people and not slow down. So it was, it was a bit of a risk, but the left was paying all right for all the day yesterday. So. <laughs> Congratulations to all the team that traveled to sail here in the first annual 2015 Laser Performance Collegiate Cup. The final standings for this year's Collegiate Cup were the ICSA Women's All-Star Team representing the U.S. in first place. The ICSA National Sailing Champions of Yale representing the USA in second place. Team Japan rounded out the top three. Fourth place went to Italy. Team Oman sailing strong all week was in fifth. Ireland was in sixth. Canada in seventh. And France rounded out the field in eighth place. And look for all the details of the 2016 Laser Performance Collegiate Cup held in Torberlay, Italy next year. Catch all the action online at laserperformancecollegiatecup.com.